Mm -hmm. You know, when the weather is like this, right? Rainy, right here in Trinidad and Tobago, one thing that comes to mind, comfort food. And what better comfort food than there is than fried chicken. So we're eating some fried chicken in this one. Ooh, what's up Trinbago Vibe peeps? Welcome to the episode of Trinbago Vibe. So we're kicking this one off on the cross, cross, crossing here in San Fernando at the first stop, which is the cabin. Well, in this one, we are just going to buy, you know, two piece and fries. Yeah, so this one was 45 TT dollars. Now, it's Wednesdays. They have a special $20 for one piece and fries, which ain't bad if you're doing like a kind of relatively cheap eats, a, mid a midway kind of thing. $20, one piece of chicken and fries. It's not, not bad for, for it. But in this one, we are trying the fried chicken. All in this one because we are looking at alternatives of fried chicken right here in Trinidad and Tobago. So in this one, there's no KFC, there's no Royal Castle in a sense because they have increased their prices. And here in Trinidad and Tobago, whenever KFC increased their prices, there's always, you know, a big noise in a sense. There's, you know, we're ready to riot for that. And that's why in this one, I decided to do, you know, a little fried chicken. Now I've had the cabin before and their chicken is normally be good. This is the fried chicken, you know, they have a little parsley and stuff on it. I get a little garlic sauce, cause you know, nah, garlic sauce. This is seasonal well. You get a slight spiciness to it on the back end, slight spiciness. The parsley and everything add a bit of freshness to it. The meat not as tender as I would like it. Now for me, right, uh, good fried chicken, it's crispy on the outside and inside is tender. You know, when you bite into that, that chicken, you get that crispiness, that crunch from the crispiness of the skin. And then you bite into the meat, which will, you know, that kind of melt in your mouth, kind of thing. Those of them who do it well, at least for leg and thigh, right? I like a leg and thigh. So, so that's why I'll try and get a leg and thigh in each one. And this isn't too bad. Some may uh, argue that it's a bit over fried, but then bad, especially where the flavor is there. So this first up two piece and fries, 45 TT dollars at the cabin. You know, let me show you at the cabin. You know, the box is hefty, yeah. You get a good bit of fries. And like I said before, you, you saw the you know the chicken and chips combination. So to me, this end bad for like the price. All right, next up. Puppies on O'Connor Street in Woodbrook. Well, puppies, you know, Brian fried chicken, BFC. Now, if you Google this fried chicken spot, you'll realize they use another word for fried instead of fried, but we're not going to say that here. However, heads up, this one is spicy dread. Yeah, this is also 45 TT, which gets you some Chinese style fried chicken and seasoned fries. You know, just going to add a little garlic sauce and ketchup to the fries. They also have condiments such as father-in-law, which I'm not sure about. You know, if we get a thousand likes on this video, I will come back and try both the father-in-law and the mother-in-law. And I realized that that's something to write as I said it. Right. So first up is the fries. Now this is seasoned fries. And it's real, real good. Like I mentioned earlier, this spot a little spicy, the fried chicken a little spicy. So your spice is not, not your thing, over heat. I don't really recommend it. But let me show you the fried chicken. Fried chicken itself, you all saw it earlier. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the, you know, Chinese style fried chicken, but this is taste real good. Mm. Seasoned well, meat is tender. And the spiciness just adds overall flavor to this. A real good fried chicken. Trust me when I tell you, one of the best fried chickens we have on the island. Until that tastes otherwise. Moving on to our third spot, we back in south on the Naparima Miyaro Road. Kokie to be exact. And yup, we're checking out Red's fried chicken and their two piece and fries. And this was Titi. For TT. Alright, I mean, can't go wrong. 
with our 34 TT for a two piece and fries. The fries are good. Can't really mess up fries soup. So for 40 TT, you can get a two piece fries and a drink. But for 34 TT, you can just get, you know, two piece and fries. So this is their fried chicken. Looking good though. Mm. That chicken is tender. The skin is crispy. You get a crunch when you bite into it. You have a slight spiciness to it because I order spicy, so I just wanted to see how spicy it is. The butter can probably do it a little touch of salt, but it's not too bad, you know. But it's not bad. Reds, two piece and fries, right in cookie. You know, while the meat is tender and the seasoning, the spiciness like kicks in a little bit. Like I mentioned before, I find the the breaded chicken part it missing something. I can't quite put my finger on it. Don't, don't get me wrong, it's tasting good and everything, yeah? it's just it missing something that would give this a home run in the fried chicken and I think it is really the butter, yeah, the butter that they coat the chicken in Anyway, next one Alright, so far we've had two fried chicken spots in South, like San Fernando, one in town, you know, Woodbrook area and I would rank them as Papi's first cabin second, Red's third we have two more fried chicken spots to hit and they would be in Central. So right now I'm at Heartland Plaza and I'm going to check out Island Chicken. You know, two piece and fries. Now this is not the original spot. The original spot I think is on the Carney Savannah Road, right? But yeah. So that was interesting. We just bunked in there and ordered this two piece and fries. It came up to 42 TT and it had like they were doing a video shoot for a commercial. So that would be kind of cool to see. <laughs> you know, the professionals as they say. All right, let's go try this yeah we also got our drink with this 42 tt you know there i mean i show you the inside so it looks like it's normal fries and that's the chicken there yeah this is the fried chicken this is island chicken fried chicken let's see how it is all right not bad there's a nice crunch and flavor on the outside. The chicken on the inside is decent. It is similar to red fried chicken. So, so far on this list, I was still around Poppy's first, Cabin second. Reds and Island Chicken kind of tied for third place at the moment. We have one more spot to hit in this fried chicken hopping episode. All right, so right now we're on the Orange Field Road in Carpe Chima, you know, heading to our fifth and final fried chicken spot in this chicken, fried chicken hopping episode. And from the time I mentioned Orange Field Road, you probably have an idea of where I'm going to. So yes, it is the original Krish fried chicken. Yeah. Looks kind of like a bar kind of thing, yeah. It had a little wait at Krish's fried chicken right here in Caribbean China. It is the furthest, the one furthest away from like ease of access because you have to come through the Orange Field Road, right? But it's also the cheapest one in terms of it's $30 for a two piece and fries. You just have to wait a little while as well because uh, this is a Saturday and it had real people there, real orders. So yeah. So this is the original Krish fried chicken, two piece and fries, titty titty doors. And yeah, they will dress it. So you gotta tell them up front what you want. So this here is the fries. This is the chicken. Let's try it. Yeah, Trinbago vibes. I wanna try this piece of meat, like, yeah. So the fried chicken looking like the Chinese style fried chicken. Yeah, this local Chinese style fried chicken. 
similar to what Papu's is, like the meat, real tender dread. And flavorful. Not overly seasoned, not overly salty. So it's seasoned just right. And this one is not spicy. But yeah, so this is the fifth spot. This is the cheapest spot. So I guess we kind of save the best for last. Now, in terms of the ranking, right? The ranking, I'll still rank Papi's number one, right? Because those fries and two piece was put on though, mind the price was 45 TT. So it, it more in the expensive end, but the taste is rare good, right? So Papi's number one, Chris's number two. Yeah, Chris's origin original, Chris Fried Chicken. I will get rank this as number two. Three is Cabin, and well, fourth is a tie between Reds and Island Chicken. And that's the, you know, the order of things in this chicken hopping episode. Trin Bago Vibes, that's my order. Let me know in the comments below what other fried chicken spots we could tackle or check out and what will you rate them if you had them already or if you are going to try them. Because I would like to know, you know, it will be wanting to, to find these spots to try these different types of food places. But it also be good to know like, hey, you go out, you try it and see if you like it or not, right? Trin Bago Vibes. So, hope you all enjoyed this one. That was five fried chicken spots. So far, right? Chris's fried chicken is the only one that is cheaper than, well, Reds as well is cheaper than the KFC, Poppy's Cabin, and Island Chicken is more expensive than a two piece and fries at KFC. But Chris's fried chicken and Reds fried chicken is cheaper than KFC's and yeah you can't go wrong more or less with any of these truth be told right so check them out if you're nearby try them let me know what you all think and yeah I'll see you all in the next one ah gone later it was a hard one between Chris actually and Cabin like it's a fine it's fine little, little little difference because right Cabin has the I get a, I guess a better fries but I find them their fried chicken overall tastes better. And these cushions fried chicken.